Well, hello, Valley Bible Church, and welcome to another edition of our VBC Daily Three. I'm Pastor Tim Wallstrom, and today I'm going to be leading us through a passage in Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 5. Now, I'm hoping you've already read this three times for yourself and ask yourself the questions, what does it tell us about God? What does it tell us about ourselves? And what should we do now that we've read this? What should we do? Well, let's just start. I want to start from what it says about us first. Um, again, uh, this whole passage might look a little weird. It's about light and darkness, but it starts in chapter 59 describing the condition of all mankind as being in sin and rebellion and in spiritual darkness. And in chapter 60, we read right here in verse 2 that the whole earth is covered, blanketed in darkness. And it says it's a thick darkness. Now that just reminds me, have you ever been to a cavern or a cave that's so deep and so dark that when they turn the lights off, you know you might as well be blind. You cannot see anything. Well, this is the condition that God says the whole earth is right now. Even though we as people can see with our eyes and we think we're so smart and illumined, God says that the whole earth is blanketed in darkness. Now, this darkness actually produces a spiritual hopelessness. And there will be no hope unless light is brought into this picture. Well, what does it say about God? Well, we know that God is light. And we know that Jesus is the light of the world. And what it says here is, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Jesus has come, and he is the light bearer. He is the one that, if you're in that cavern, and it's so dark you can't see in front of your face, even a match or a flashlight hundreds of yards away is catches your eye and you can see it and it brings hope to you in a hopeless situation. This is what it says about God, that God has been the one that has brought hope to this planet. And it says that and it's in the form of light or illumination or awareness of God and who he is. Now, what should we do about this? Well, I, I think just as um, when God says that the whole earth is blanketed in darkness, he says that the nations will come to the light. Ever lit a fire in the middle of the night in a forest and all the things come toward the light? If we are just God's light, reflecting God's light, to a world, it doesn't have to be a brilliant light. You don't have to be the brightest bulb. You have to just be showing God's light, and the nations will come. That's what I think it says here. Arise and shine. Don't create your own light within yourself. Just reflect God's light that he's put in you through Jesus Christ, his Savior. Now, one of the things that I would say it means for us today is that we need to not cover the light. Jesus says you don't light a light and put it under a bushel, but you put it on a stand so all can see it. And I think sometimes, today I would say, we need to be careful that we're not hiding his light. Um, one of the, How do you do that? Well, there's lots of different ways. Sometimes just by saying nothing. Sometimes it's by letting the conditions of this world swamp us so we forget all the promises of Scripture of being anxious for nothing and working through adversity and trials that God lets in our life and showing that there's a different response in a Christian than an unchristian because we have hope. So today I would just encourage you, let your light shine before men that others may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Let's arise and shine and let God's light shine through us today. God bless you.